Hello, greetings. This is me again. Doing this in piecemeal because energy leaves me because of my condition. And it's very hard on me. Hard on my soul. <laughs> and uh, so, I'm here. I have to show you uh, the hadith where Abu Bakr says, um, if you've worshipped Muhammad, then know that Muhammad is dead. Because, you know, I've seen on the videos, live streams, YouTube, uh, that uh, if even the Christian, like Christian prince, Christians give you hadiths, show you hadiths, some uh, Muslim apologists, Muslims say that uh, they're not, uh, uh, they're liars, they're anti-Islamic, uh, so... That's why, let's see, even after showing you the hadiths, the Christians or some ex-Muslims. Anyhow, I'm doing my part here and I'm sh I have to show you the hadith since I remembered this. That one should show the hadiths. So this is from uh, Sahih Bukhari, 62 Companions of the Prophet. The virtues of the Companions of the Prophet. Um, so five chapter five, if I were to take Khalil dot dot dot. Chapter on what the Prophet, may God's prayers and peace, said if I were to take a boyfriend. Oh, I bet this is a wrong translation. Abu Sayyid said and all this. Anyhow, Sahih al-Bukhari here. Again, um, 3667 comma three six six eight so let me first read the hadith and then I'll show you the hadith narrated Aisha the wife of the Prophet Allah's messenger died while Abu Bakr was at a place called a Sunnah al Aliyah in brackets al Aliyah in brackets Umar stood up and said by Allah Allah's messenger peace be upon him is not dead Umar later on said, By Allah, nothing occurred to my mind except that. He said, Verily, Allah will resurrect him, and he will cut the hands and legs of some men. Then Abu Bakr came and uncovered the face of Allah's messenger, kissed him and said, Let my mother and father be sacrificed for you. O Allah's messenger, you are good in life and in death. By Allah, in whose hands my life is, Allah will never make you taste death twice. Then he went out and said, O oath taker, don't be hasty. When Abu Bakr spoke, Umar sat down. Abu Bakr praised and glorified Allah and said, <clears throat> remember this, Abu Bakr, very important here, Abu Bakr praised and glorified Allah. Praised and glorified. Whom? Allah. Who? Allah. And said, No doubt, whoever worshipped Muhammad, then Muhammad is dead. But whoever worshipped Allah, then Allah is alive and shall never die. Then it goes on, uh, Muhammad... Then he recited Allah's statement, O Muhammad, verily you will die, and they also will die. I think it's Surah 39, uh, verse 30. He also recited, Muhammad is no more than an apostle, and indeed many apostles have passed away before him. If he dies or is, will you then turn back on your heels? And he who turns back on his heels, not the least harm will he do to Allah. And Allah will give reward to those who are grateful. Surah 3, Ayat 144. So, and the people wept, wept loudly and the Ansar were assembled. Uh, so all this is given here. Uh, let me just focus it. Sorry about this.
Sahih al Bukhari, three six six seven, comma three six six eight. Narrated Aisha. Where is it now? Abu Bakr kissed him. Let my mother, whose hands is my life, Allah will never make him do it twice. Okay, searching for it here. It's uh, 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 Omar was uh, shocked, saying he's not dead. <clears throat> then he went out and said, then Abu Bakr. Then he went out and said, O oh, oath taker, don't be hasty. When Abu Bakr spoke, Omar sat down. Abu Bakr praised and glorified Allah and said, No doubt, whoever worshipped Muhammad, then Muhammad is dead. But whoever worshipped Allah, then Allah is alive and shall never die. So this is important also, praised and glorified Allah. Abu Bakr praised and glorified Allah and said, No doubt, whoever worshipped Muhammad, then Muhammad is dead. Muhammad is dead. Why does he have to say this? But whoever worshipped Allah, then Allah is alive and shall never die. Please just take a minute to ponder over this and you can open Sahih International, search Abu Bakr, uh, this hadith. The, uh, from Sahih International, Virtues of the Companions of the Prophet, 5 chapter, If I Were to Take Khalil, Friend. <clears throat> I don't know how I searched for it, uh, what I put here, sorry I cannot go back, cannot help you in this. Like uh, Allah's Messenger said, whoever worshipped Muhammad, no, no, sorry, Abu Bakr said. So. Sunni Hadith Sahih Bukhari, Sunni sources. Okay, this is, you get it? So, Abu Bakr was right. I mean, according to Ayat uh, Surah Fatah, Fat, Surah Fat, Ayat uh, 9. Okay, now I have the Sahih International and English translation Yusuf Ali. So, you know how it escaped me? English translation Yusuf Ali is like, in order, in order that you, O men, may believe in Allah and His Messenger, that you may assist and honor Him and celebrate His praise morning and evening. So I may have not looked at it properly, correctly. I mean, the, the way, just not given much attention to it. Celebrate his praise morning and evening. But Yusuf Ali, what he does is put, put H with a capital H, honor him, and honor him, and uh, both, right? So this is what we need. Celebrate his praise in his capital so it's both if you can if I can show you this uh, honor him cap with a capital H him celebrate his praise morning and evening so maybe a little confusion like you know oh man you may believe in Allah and his messenger that you may assist, meaning, you know, if you are confused about this, meaning Allah, and so they've put a comma here, that you may assist Allah with the messenger, a 
assist and uh, so he hasn't see you that you may assist and honor him so it doesn't he hasn't put here may assist him but he has put it like this translated it like this yusuf ali do you see this yusuf ali sorry i'm a bit tired uh, when i show it like this i get a very very gone case tired my energy is hemorrhaging uh, so that's why I have my videos like that. So I may have the strength to at least speak. You know, if I keep showing like this, then it's not good for my health. So I have to take care of my health. And now see the... Uh, yeah, I'm kind of... Uh, my energy has drained. So this is Surah Fat, chapter 48, verse 9. Ah. Uh, and uh, so you see Abu Bakr is right. Now if you see how Sahih International puts it, okay, I'll try to show you. Messenger uh, may believe in Allah and his messenger, his messenger, in bright, uh, and his here is because it's he's Allah's messenger, right? So his is in capital letters. Uh, then Sahih International thinks and honor him, meaning messenger of Allah and respect him i.e. the prophet meaning the messenger of Allah again and exalt him now they've put i.e. Allah morning and afternoon so I showed you word by word here him the age of him. So if I say him is capitalized, meaning the age of him. So I'm just trying to be very like uh, shortcuts, taking sh take it like shorthand writing. Have you ever, you know, heard of it or uh, studied it? So please, I correct myself and please see what I mean. And there's a problem here because what, there's no change in the words, the way it is said. Honor him, respect him. The, you have uh, also checked the, uh, this transliteration. Where is it? What the? Okay, what the sub? Behuhu, maybe huhu, bukrata. Wait, wait here. Wak, wakarhu. But here it says huhu. Sab behuhu. What you sab behuhu? Huhu. So. This is very confusing and uh, I just don't know. So I have to, go, um, I can't, I mean, I can, I've, the, the translations are here. So experts, Quran experts, and how would they explain it here? That uh, the reason why they've put glorify him in brackets Allah. Let's see. So I don't know then I'll have to go to my Shia multilingual Quran, uh, Surah, Maha, uh, Surah Fat, sorry, Surah Fat, open a new tab, just a minute please. Okay, here I am in the multilingual Quran, and Aka Medipuya says about this verse 9 of Surah Fat, in the commentary section you can see, as mentioned in Araf, Surah Araf, meaning verse, uh, meaning 157 is verse 157. The people must believe in the Holy Prophet, honor him and help him, and celebrate the glory of Allah day and night. 
Those who believe in the Holy Prophet revere him <clears throat> and honor him, in fact, glorify Allah. So there we have it. Those who believe in the Holy Prophet revere him and honor him, in fact, glorify Allah. So this is how he's explained it, this verse. It means, uh, he's explained it. Those who revere and honor him, in fact, glorify Allah. Honor who? Holy Prophet. So we don't have to go to Surah Araf, verse 157. It is self-explanatory and Akapuya has also explained it. This part of the verse 9 of Surah Fat. Celebrate his morning, praise morning and evening. We don't need different, different translations I had ready for you. It says here, those, Akapuya, those who believe in the Holy Prophet revere him and honor him. What do they do? In fact, it's a fact. Glorify Allah. This is how he's mentioned the last part of this verse. Celebrate his praise morning and evening. Yusuf Ali Pictal may glorify him at early dawn and at the close, cl close of the, of day, at the close of the close of the day. Sorry, it's not close. It's close of the day. I think. Ah, that's Pictel, Shakir, you may declare his glory morning and evening. Shakir translation of verse 9, Surah 48. Akapuya again says, Celebrate the glory of Allah, night a morning, celebrate the glory of Allah, day and night, those who believe in the Holy Prophet revere him and honor him. In fact, this word is very important, glorify Allah. So he said it. This means they, and this is what this verse means. Actually, glorify him. Should, But a little bit of difference, I, but he's, it's, like, you see, those who believe, if you believe in the Holy Prophet, revere him and honor him, what are you doing? So he's put it in a very subtle, like he's tried to explain it, in fact, glorify Allah. Now we may put it in this way, or we may put it, and he hasn't explained how the verse, how the Arabic, or what it means, but you know how the Arabic of this Quran kind of goes that we have to in the end put Allah and not Rasulullah. So they've tried to explain it that why in the end when we say, when this verse says, we don't say it, when this verse says, declare his glory morning and evening, he's explained what this means. But they all say that his glory in the end means Allah. So this is how Akap Mahdipuya has explained it. That's why in the end it would mean uh, glorify Allah and not Prophet Muhammad. But it means the same thing actually. In other words. So Akapuya has gone to explain it like this and we miss out on may glorify him. So even if it was put like the way Akka Mehdi Puya puts it, it would be that we are in fact worshipping Allah through Prophet Muhammad by revering him and honoring him. What are we doing? Glorifying Allah. What does glorifying Allah mean? Worship. So even if uh, the Shias take it 
like this and do not agree to what I'm saying is that glorify him night and evening means what uh, Rob Christian pointed out is uh, glorify Prophet Muhammad. So both ways it, it would mean that we have uh, in uh, honoring Prophet Muhammad, assisting him, respecting him, and glorifying him would mean that we are glorifying Allah. And how does, uh, wait a minute, my every word, maybe my English is wrong, you're going, uh, you will question this also. Those who believe in the Holy Prophet, let's say take this, Akka Medipuya says, which means that here the last one is celebrate his praise morning and evening. Ah, verse, word by word, translation, English, Yusuf Ali. And, uh, okay, I didn't say and, but I said, celebrate his praise morning and evening. Huh? And then Akka Medipuya says, as mentioned in Araf, Surah Araf, he means, 157, verse 157. You know what I mean? So Abu Bakr was right. Do you want to, like, no. I think, okay, in piecemeals, I'll come back again. I've lost strength. Thank you so much.